just wow. Just oh my god. The new Grimgor Ironhide campaign in game engine trailer was released earlier today. And though this epic trailer didn't have a lot of information in it, it did have a lot of something that at this stage goes even further. We seen the campaign map, not all of it, bits of it, it looks fan. Fantastic! The thing is beautiful! We've seen an orc settlement. We've seen an empire settlement. We've seen so much that we've never seen before. This was. Oh, it's huge visually. There wasn't a lot of information in it, playstyle, sort of wise, or anything like that. But if you want to see how the game's gonna look, and oh boy, this game's gonna look beautiful. We already knew that from the battles, but the campaign map, it looks so 3D compared to other Total War maps. It's so much over the top, just like Warhammer is and what Warhammer's all about. It makes our older Total War games look 2D on the campaign map. The movement of characters on it looks so fluid, it's... Oh. You should go watch this trailer about 3-4 times and you'll just see there's lots of wee things you miss each time. It is a rather beautiful trailer. What actually happens in the trailer is I'm assuming most of you have went and watched it by now at least once is Grimgor Ironhide has just finished a big battle uniting a Lork tribe and taking it in under his wa and as he's just put the axe into the last survivor on the ground he's looking round going hmm and a little goblin sort of very tensively very subtly sort of sneaks up to him because he's been forced by the orcs to go ask Gringor where they're going next and it's this sort of visualization of Gringor thinking about where they're going next if they're going to attack the dwarfs the empire or the chaos next I notice they left the vampire counts out pretty obvious why because we're going to see lots of information about them probably early next year we're going to be getting tidbits about the orcs probably for the next month or so so yeah, that campaign map though looks beautiful. The Empire City, we've seen it under siege, orc siege towers going after it. If the end game's gameplay is anything like this trailer, this game is going to be on a whole new sort of level. It looks a wee bit like how the sieges were promised to be in the Siege of Carthage early days sort of trailer for Rome 2 though. So I wouldn't expect the game, I wouldn't bet on this being what the final product is going to be like though. But it does look awesome. It does look really, really awesome. There's, you actually see armies walking across the campaign map. I've already said this, it's so fluid. There was actually wyverns and stuff on the campaign map too. So maybe you're, I don't know some sort of movement like that for if you're forced march or maybe once your general's got a wyvern you actually see him having a wyvern on the map and he moves about like that or maybe there's something else we don't know some sort of third tier of army aerial armies really doubt that but still still yeah i really doubt it but still yeah just go watch this trailer there was, just trying to think, I think that's everything that was really in it. Oh yes, 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 yes. It did say we were going to see some campaign map gameplay coming soon. So, I can't wait to see what else is coming this week because CA did promise us the campaign map. So I don't know if that 
this trailer counts as the campaign map or not. I'm hoping not, because I'm hoping we get to see all of it, so we can actually, the people that know the fluff, like me, can actually go, oh, Kislev's in it, which we're basically confirmed Kislev is in it by now because of Chaos are in it, and they can't really not have Empire and Chaos being in it without Kislev, because that's right bang in the middle with the main stray of the two of them. And the Border Princes are pretty much going to have to be in it, because the Orcs need are in it. So we know basically they're going to be in it, but if the map's big enough to maybe encompass the Wood Elves or Bretonia, they're still huge question marks. I'd really like to see if that area of the campaign map is in the first part, or if it's going to be coming later on in an expansion. That is still a big question mark for me. I expect naval combat will be getting introduced when the Dark Elves and High Elves are introduced. But still, yeah, we're starting to get into speculation again. So I'm really excited to see what else this week entails, as there's more still to come this week. Because we knew they also said there was going to be information this week on how the orcs actually play campaign map wise. So I'm guessing that is going to be the campaign map gameplay. And so we're going to see that hopefully this week, as well as the full campaign map hopefully this week. Probably in a CA Let's Play, where they play some of the campaign map. If you're wondering what to expect, I'd go back to before Rome 2 again and watch... Now, was it Will or Craig? I always get the two mixed up. The one that recently left. I'm pretty sure that's Will. Yeah, it's Will. He played a Swabian Let's Play for like on the campaign map, just a wee sort of teaser of the game. Around this long before the game came out as well there. So I'm guessing it's going to be a lot like that. I'll see if I can link that video in the description as well. So that's why I expect this coming later on this week. And so that's what I expect we'll see. And obviously there's going to be another information video when that comes out. Whew. As always folks, I'm super hyped because I just watched this trailer. i just seen it just come out. I just watched it like three times and then I straight away went and did this narration. And then I'm going to make the video after this. So, yeah, I may have been a wee bit blah 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 this compared to the other ones. So sorry about that. Hope you've all enjoyed this. Stay tuned. Stay informed. Bye-bye, folks.